Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nihon Gaku, a story of Japan. It's 1878, almost the 20th century, big, uh, big important time. For now, we are in the uh, United States of America over here. We have colonized California. Not terribly inappropriate thing for J uh, Japan to do, I'm sure they... Well, I'm sure they envisaged themselves taking over the whole world at some point, but... California is the closest place in America to them. Um, so, let's see. Not much going on right. I mean, Meiji re Restoration... Or, Meiji Restoration already happened, but the Meiji period is happening right now. Um, has been described by various different people as some Russians came to visit Japan during this period. Or, I should say, one particular Russian emissary. And... He didn't see that much, but what he he came back and wrote about what he described as being like perfect anarchy, like Japan was in a state of anarchy, but all the people were cooperating and everything was great. Whether what he was seeing was actually, um, how do I how do I put it, real, is a whole other question. But he was one person. Uh, let's see. Worker over here. Um, I guess improve this. Let's see. Osaka. Yeah, let's make a... Let's make a is this a hill? This is a hill, I think. No, it's grassland. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just make another wood chopping place over there. And let's see. Let's frigate. Just put as many frigates as we can. We're, kind of, we're seriously running out of room over there. Uh, I'm just going to keep sending this guy into the inner continent. Cargo ship in Osaka, we do not need, right? We have no reason to have this in Osaka. We were just building it there. I believe that was what was happening. And we are, let's see, our tantalizing wanders here that we could build, but I don't really want to. We are pretty close to unhappiness. So I'm going to build a zoo. Yeah, let's see. In the 1880s, uh, so things were kind of, the political situation was such that, like, various, various groups were kind of, the, the whole, the, like, Satsuma and Choshu people were in charge, but, um, various groups had their different wills, and there was, a uh, Japan, oops, what the hell, something just happened to my screen, anyway, Japan, the Japanese were trying to kind of find a Western-style uh, political model to to kind of base their newfound society off of and they eventually the the leaders kind of decided that they the people were pushing for a um, like constitutional democracy and as I think I mentioned last video the leaders believed that the people were simply not ready we should send some food to Nara wow that sucks Although they're just going to be starving as soon as we stop sending food there. And Nara doesn't really particularly need to be that large. Oh, we would like them to be a little bigger, though. Man. We could just grow them up for a little bit, I guess. We would like money, though. Money's always good. I'm going to take the money. And, oh, another cargo ship. Let's see. More money. Just give me all the money. You know, all the money we can get. Oh, we just finished plastics. Excellent. Okay. So now we are going to catch up on the southern side of things here. We're just gonna we're gonna go for dynamite for now. Three turns away, Statue of Liberty. God damn it. We better get it. Um, whether or not we get it, we're probably gonna use this guy to rush. Either Broadway. Oh, we could have actually three. Christo Redentor at this point is not gonna be terribly useful, I don't think. To the extent that it ever is. Um, we could rush maybe Eiffel Tower just to stop someone else from getting it and getting that extra tourism bonus. Anyway, so what I was saying about the political situation of Japan is that the internal situation. Um, in the 80s, they, uh, the leaders start, started basically by popular demand to slowly dole out more open borders. Uh, I guess. Might as well. Um, keep on good relations with her. 
uh, at this point, uh, during the 80s, the uh, individual domains, or as they were becoming prefectures, as I think I also talked about last episode, um, there were fewer pre prefectures. They were... They were starting, they were starting to, uh, little, like, sub-national assemblies were starting to pop up in these areas for, uh, for, for smaller regions, which was a very important step, because beforehand, the, I mean, the daimyo had had some power, but it was a feudal system, so they all kind of, in the end, owed everything to their, to their liege, but, oh, we got furs, right? Yeah. But now the individuals, some individuals, I mean, it was still mostly, like, Highly educated, rich men were starting to have some political power. And, uh, oh, were they? Someone gave us an infantry. Wow, that is, infantry is very far ahead of what we have currently. So, let's just, still useful. Another cargo ship. Man, this, they really want me to send food to Nara. I guess I'm just going to do it. Was I doing that before? I don't remember. I don't think so. so if I was, Nara would probably be more populated. Um, I, I don't know exactly what year it was, but or if there was a specific moment when they did this, but they were they were looking on, at European models and they didn't want or Western models, uh, and they didn't want a full-on American-style democracy, as I we've talked about multiple times because they didn't want the people to have that much power. Um, they didn't like the English because they kind of thought the English were bumbling morons, and they also didn't want the English, they, they didn't want their people to have as much power as the English did. Um, they thought France and Italy were both kind of weak or didn't otherwise too, like, progressive. So they modeled, they decided to go with a, a Prussian model, which is, in principle, um, not that I'm terribly familiar with Prussian or German history. Wow, this, what is with these barbarians? This is absolutely absurd. This is incredible. Get out of here. Please, just come back to... Wow, that's a lot of boats around here. Holy crap. Oh my god, I gave them open borders. I shouldn't have done that. God damn it, that was really stupid. That was a very stupid move. I don't know where these... Oh, maybe they're going down to Prussia. That would actually be hilarious if the Chinese have just, like, entirely vacated their whole area here. I can only hope that's what they're doing. Embargo, Spain. I don't care about that. Enact ban luxury truffles. Are we getting happiness from truffles? I think we probably are. We are. So we're going to vote nay for that. That would be rather unfortunate if that happened. Tokyo Research Lab, yes. Should almost just rush a research lab with this engineer. Well, it would be a bit of a waste. Um, so we're not going to be able to make farms anywhere over here. Which is rather unfortunate. It's going to have to take what food we can get. Anyway, the, Pr the Prussian model was, like, there was some room given to, quote-unquote, the people. Probably also, like, maybe not landed, but, like, reasonably wealthy men. But, for the most part, the the Chancellor, the Kaiser, the generally the, the leaders of Germany had, still had almost, not, not, I don't want to say absolute power, but they had a lot of power. And the Japanese wanted that. They wanted to kind of like have the guise of constitutionalism or like a facade over their actual like autocratic government style, um, which had its ups and downs. And in this period as well, I haven't really talked about this yet. Nice. Excellent. Kagoshima is starving. Oh, because we weren't sending food there. Interesting. So we're going to have to put it on food focus in order for it not to starve, which is all right. In this period, Japan was, because partially because of general fears of Western colonization, because so many things were happening in China and other parts of East Asia at this point. The, the English were in Burma, the French were in Vietnam, the English had just crushed the crumbling Qing Empire in uh, the Opium Wars in the mid 1800s. Get out of here. Generally, Japan saw that the West was encroaching on the East and were terribly afraid of that. And so it uh, became a very important thing during this period to boost up the, the Japanese military and generally 
get them outfitted well, but also incredibly importantly, um, improve Japanese health practices. And this saw a, this period saw quite a bit of uh, nationalization of health practices and medicinal practices and import, importing of um, Western, Western sciences, particularly for maintaining the health of the citizens. Like, I don't remember exactly, like, there was some mantra or motto, like, sound, healthy people, strong military or something. That was, like, the Japanese motto during this period. And, oh, we got, nice, we got a uh, Statue of Liberty. Excellent. We do have civil resistance, which is why we're unhappy. But I think freedom is going to be the way to go. We might want to take the... Might want to take the uh, happiness for now. This thing is actually telling me disk space is low, so I'm going to briefly pause and try to deal with that. Give me a sec. All right, I think I had previously, I had forgotten to delete last round of videos, so my hard drive is pretty full, but now we're good. Um, so because we're, we're going to have to counteract this civil resistance, so we should probably do universal suffrage or urbanization. I think universal suffrage is going to be good. Because we're probably going to be getting some great artists possibly soon. 86 turns, whatever. I'm not worried. We're good. Uh, can we pay off anyone? Does anyone want money? These guys do want money. Who's this? Cape Town wants money. Greece is 113. Uh, how many more turns do they want money for? I'm gonna, just so I don't forget, I'm gonna just give these guys a thousand. That puts us a lot closer to overtaking them. I can also pledge to protect. And we're not... Yeah, well, let's pledge to protect them. That's going to get us very close to being allies with them. And even if they get attacked, like, who cares? We'll go to war with the person who's attacking them, but it's going to be, like, the Zulus. And that doesn't matter to us at all. Okay, Osaka. Eiffel Tower. I think we're going to rush it. Might be a bad idea. Almost. Well, what just happened? Where did I just put it? Oh, I put it in Osaka. Whoops. Please don't do that. Cancel. Okay. Eiffel Tower. 11 turns. Hopefully this should work. Yep. That's good. Nara, you should probably build a granary. No, granary is not necessary right now. Um, we should maybe buy a pagoda. Actually, do we still want to convert... Hanoi, we kind of do. And we're pretty close to. I think if we buy a missionary in Satsuma, we'll be able to convert them. Crossing my fingers. Okay, Nora, or Kagoshima. Um, da -da 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 -da. public school or monument? Public school. Nara could use. <sighs> Might as well just get a windmill. Just get it out, and then we can. That will build everything else faster as well. The number of deer. God, it's just absurd. Siberia like this in real life? No idea. What a place. Okay, we're getting into America here. We're finding a lot of ruins, which is pretty funny. I might have actually... I haven't really been paying attention to ruins, to be honest, so we might have... It doesn't look like we missed any. Good. I wonder if anyone else is actually... I didn't pay attention. I should have paid attention if we got 30 gold or <clears throat> 15 gold from Vancouver. I assume people have been over here, but there's a chance not. I mean, the Inca, at the very least, probably have been. Oh, nice. We just got LA. Of oh, we're allies of, like... Wait, we just, we just got a lot of allies, I think. Did we? Maybe not. Hanoi and Cape Town. We should have gotten both of those, perhaps. 
No, we're not. What? That was weird. That is, uh, maybe it was just Hanoi election rigged. I was confused. Okay. Send this down to Hanoi. Yes, the Chinese have passed Satsuma with their fleet, so that's promising. 100 gold is all right for this period in the game. That's the one thing where, like, you get 100 gold at the beginning of the game and 100 gold at the at whenever else you get it from from the gold thing from the ruins. But, I mean, 100 gold at this point of the game is still pretty good. Persia and Sweden now, friends. That's unlikely. Oh, we can get pearls from here. That'd be good. <sighs> I don't think so, Alexander. I don't particularly like you. <clears throat> and as I'm continue stealing his city states, look at it. We're much better on the demographics already. As I continue stealing his city states, he's probably going to start liking us less and less. Oh, I so I missed this. In uh, in 1889, after a lot of political fumbling, the uh, the Meiji Constitution, the Imperial Diet was was formed, which is a kind of like constitutional assembly. And the Meiji Constitution was written in 1889, and this was. I wish I I wish I had it here. I could I could try to get it next time. Um, <clears throat> it was it was something, but it wasn't a lot. It was not it was not an American Constitution. It was still it was uh, it, the 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 masses to the extent that the masses were even aware of what was going on. Um, were were disappointed by the by the constitution and I, I I don't know what was what what it contained because I haven't looked at it I should have but it basically reinforced the idea that the 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 autocrats at the top were trying to retain as much power as they could and even at, the, at this point even like the what whatever power the emperor had had at the beginning of the Meiji um, is basically gone. The Satsuma and Choshu people, the people who brought brought it all back, so to speak, have. Oh, I finished. We finished the what? Wait, I'm confused. Did we get the wonder, or did we not get the wonder? My game's lagging here. We got the Eiffel Tower. What? And we got another great merchant. Oh my God, this is crazy. Um, should we do Christo Redentor? I don't think so. Let's just do Broadway. Let's stop everyone else from getting wonders. Getting some serious lag here. Probably gonna have to end this episode, which is actually, this is good timing. Um, I am going to... I'm actually gonna save right here. I would like to finish the turn, but something very important happens in Japanese history in 1894. And I would like to uh, talk about that next time. So thank you guys very much for watching. Somehow we've, like, pulled out with this wonder creation. It's kind of absurd, as long as someone doesn't steal Broadway uh, from us. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. So, I uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.